So a guy approaches you and you end up actually liking him and you're like, hey, maybe I would go on a date with him and because maybe he is actually attractive or maybe he's someone I want. <laughs> Based on how he looks and what he said to you, you're like, maybe I would like him in my life. So I'm going to share with you guys first date tips and how to get that guy who already likes you to fully like you even more, right? So that's what this video is all about. I feel like I have a permanent bag underneath my eyes, like right here. Actually, both eyes. I feel like I have a permanent bag now. I might have to get like Botox. Like these look permanent. I was going to wear makeup in today's video, but I was just like, honestly, the first step is to have your skin looking the best that it can. Whether you're wearing no makeup, minimal makeup, or just full on glam you're going to be wearing, you want your skin to look the best underneath. I went on dates before in the past wearing no makeup at all because I'm you're gonna like me when I'm not wearing makeup. You're gonna like my natural self. And if you don't like my natural self, boy, I ain't the one. Okay, so um, we're gonna do skincare. So I'm gonna put on a mask. I'm using the formula Skin Detoxing Peel Mask. And usually I only use this on my nose. Honestly, skincare is important. This is off topic, but skincare is important because honestly, once you, if you decide to go into a relationship with this person or start talking a little bit more, I don't know how some girls do it, but some of them, you'll never see them without makeup on. But for me, after like the first date, second date, they're not seeing me with makeup. Actually, after the first date, because I, I don't wear makeup. The only time I wear makeup is when I'm going out or I'm on YouTube or I have a special event. That's the only time you guys see me with makeup. I have caramel skin if anyone's wondering. So my nose is so oily. I was, I was looking at myself today and I was like, why is my nose the oiliest part of my Face. Uh, so it's like I need to do a mask. I need to take out all these impurities and all that. So it says apply a thin coating to dry, freshly cleanse dried face. <laughs> so the first tip is all about location when it comes to dates. Now it depends on what you like to do and what you're you will accept. So some guys just want full control and they're just like, I'm gonna pick the, the date spot. We're gonna have fun. We're going to like it. Now with me, I try to agree with places that I know I would feel comfortable with. Now I'm tired of restaurants, I'm tired of going to restaurants, I'm honestly just it's just so tired out, that whole scene is just so annoying. I don't know if because I went in so much at restaurants, I'm just like, I'm over it. Next, so I try to pick a place that I'm fun and I'm comfortable with. You guys can think about that too. So well, the reason why I also wouldn't recommend a restaurant from the first date, and the reason for that is because I don't know if you guys are like me, but when it comes to meeting people for the first time, I'm a little bit self-conscious the way I eat. I'm just like, am I using the fork properly? Am I using the spoon properly? I'm, I only like eating with spoons, unless it's like spaghetti or something where you have to eat with a fork, then I'll eat with a fork. So I don't even like going to restaurants for that reason. But even then, I'm just so self-conscious. Like, am I, this person's watching me too. And it's weird. It's weird. I don't know. Only people who probably are similar to me understand. So if you're like the avoid restaurants on the first day, because it'd be so awkward. And then plus, like, you're eating and then you're talking. And I feel like you have, you have a time limit. Mostly when you go on dates with restaurants, it's like you go to the restaurant and then maybe go somewhere more chill after just to relax and talk more. So might as well just do something very chill. Yeah, so it just depends on your vibe um, and what you like, okay? So that's my first tip. Go somewhere you're comfortable. And even if the man's like, oh, I figured it out. Just meet me here at this time or just I'll pick you up at this time or whatever. Be like, just still ask me. I like still asking because I want to dress appropriately. For where we're going so once they say something i'll be like oh how about this if i want to some people may think it's not feminine enough to do that but so that's me it's so boring restaurants are so boring and then you're watching me eat like ah! no <laughs> next one ha. first of all if you are interested in a guy and you want the guy to like you even more at least talk in conversations and make the conversation double-sided do not make it one-sided where the guy's talking the whole entire time and you're like yeah mm, mm. and i understand like some people may be shy but at least talk to make it seem like okay this girl may seem a little bit more interested in me because it's just weird and i've talked to people where it's just like it feels like you're the one who's forcing the conversation so much and you're just like does this person even like me truly and it just makes the date to go by so much more smoother and fun and nice so you guys talk ask him questions too ask him questions and i have a whole video on what you should ask when it comes to dating guys and everything like that so i'm gonna link it because you guys be asking questions on these dates okay don't waste your time going on five six dates and then you finally figure out these things that you really want to ask ask questions talk have fun laugh be yourself okay so i know people are like okay that's so i'm still putting my thing on one side of my face i know people are like that's basic tips you would be surprised like oh my god one, i have so many horror stories of things that i've witnessed that i'm just like you are too grown to be acting like this on a date like girls doing this like no embarrassing 
embarrassing next tip is so important like don't be rude don't be rude in the sense that don't be on your phone like why you're actually rude you're actually rude and you have an addiction that you need to uh fully recognize and accept give the person attention and pay them pay them some money give them attention okay 100 percent attention don't be on your phone texting and stuff nothing's ever that important unless like someone calls you and tells you someone just died or someone's in the hospital like no one no one and nothing's ever that important that you can't put away an hour or two off your phone just to pay attention to this guy that you are interested in but honestly that's so rude i've seen people do it i'm just like you're weird show interest let me know down below if you agree with that tip okay let me know are you someone who doesn't feel like it's not that big of a deal that you could still be on your phone and like even if there's awkward silences use the awkward silence to think of another idea for another topic to talk about don't just go on your phone and start scrolling on twitter and instagram i had this friend right girl was always on her phone and then one day i was just like what are you doing on your phone like who's texting me so much she's like oh someone's not texting me i'm just scrolling on twitter i'm just scrolling on instagram i'm like like i'm like what i appreciate what's happening right now and what you're doing why are you just scrolling aimlessly on twitter and instagram while you're out like what and then ever since i brought that up to her she's like that's actually so true like huh there's no need i was just scrolling just to scroll just to scroll next up is be yourself i know when it's for some people it's only hard i feel like for extroverts this is this tip is like so easy this is the tip be yourself simple and easy no there's girls <laughs> There's people, as soon as they meet guys and stuff, they just don't know how to act, so they're putting on like a fake voice, a fake persona, just so the person can like you. It's better you be yourself on the first date, because cut to the chase, just cut to the chase. Do you like me for who I am or don't you? I feel like once you're yourself, you're more likable, more relatable, and people will see, if, and this guy will see if he genuinely just wants to take it further. If no one has time to be dragged into a situation and then find out after like, a few months like two months of talking to the person that they're not interested in you or you just don't like them or they just wasted your time so might as well you just be honest and be yourself from the get-go and if they like you they like you and if you don't they don't and I know some people are like but I want this person to really like me ah! and you know be, show your real personality who you are and what you do okay next tip is all about hygiene I talk about this a lot because believe it or not people my age people older than me believe it so people older than me there's something like what's wrong with you and your hygiene like your hygiene and your appearance is very important and i'm not saying wear makeup I, I told you guys in the beginning of this video that i don't even wear makeup sometimes on my dates because i just can't bother i feel like i look fine as long as my hair is like done really well i feel like my face and my features look fine it just depends how i feel right but hygiene 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 go wax before your date go wax your armpits if you're wearing a dress if you're wearing a shorts go shave your legs brush your teeth floss okay make sure you wash your face and you shower prior to the date do not let any girl out there tell you that guys don't notice these things and don't care about these things they date dusty men they date unclean men they date nasty men because the men i talk to they are clean they value hygiene and they notice these things let me tell you guys this mini story so there's this one this one lady okay she didn't have the best hygiene i'm gonna be dead honest but she introduced me to a guy right and the first thing the guy said to me when like I got introduced to him, he was like, oh, do you have good hygiene? And then like it took me a while to like fully understand and I started laughing. I'm like, what are you talking about? That's a weird question to ask somebody. And then it makes sense because this lady did not have good hygiene. Like she smelled her teeth and I'm associated with her. So <laughs> I'm telling you, people, guys notice it, notice it, they notice it, they notice it. I have, I have so many friends that are males and they talk about these things like so please groom do not let no one tell you that guys don't notice this humans in general notice these things so again if girls tell you this they only date unclean men so they think that them being unclean is not noticeable you're nasty i'm just being nice to you guys and giving you guys all these head ups and it's important you guys know it's always good to prepare for these dates okay again i have all these hygiene routines and videos on my channel oral hygiene like making your butt smell good and everything like that watch it watch it and prepare on dates it's like okay i'll wear makeup and then i'll wear like a really nice outfit like don't get me wrong and then i'll do my hair really nice and then um make sure my nails are very just like decent my, my skin is clean and everything like that i would recommend the same for you guys so if you're someone who wears minimal makeup or you don't wear makeup at all just honestly be yourself and then focus on the other things i feel like sometimes when your hair is just really nice you don't even have to wear makeup because your hair is just like wow okay so this one is like if you want if you want so i would recommend you guys find me on the first date or the first two three dates find your own right there and back 
don't show interest so quick okay because you never know and sometimes you might like this guy after meeting him, like interacting with him first and then on the first date you're just like this guy's a beardo bro let me get out of here quick <laughs> first few dates i would say get your own ride there and back if you want to because honestly each interaction with everybody's different maybe on the first date you end up like both of you guys kicking it off really well and you're like i actually trust this guy he's cool whatever we can kick it you know but i just feel like ill ill don't show interest too fast take it slow let this man show his real self in a few weeks so because again i feel like like even with him he's gonna censor a lot people censor a lot when they first meet when, when they're first trying to get to know each other take it slow and don't trust people you never know if people are serial killers so this tip is bring a hygiene kit so have a small little pouch well depending if you want to it, it depends if you want to but bring if you're gonna carry like a small little cute purse i would say bring a small little cute hygiene kit so make sure you have gum on you make sure you have wipes make sure you have hand sanitizer make sure i have a whole video on hygiene kit so i'm gonna like that video if you guys want more information on what's on, on your hygiene kit perfume just in case anything happens you never know so it's always good to prepare what if like you feel like your breath smells and you're just like oh let me wake up in my mouth <laughs> or like you, you just you just want your breath to smell a little more, more fresh so you put gum and then perfume have it in your hygiene kit because what if you were running out the house and you forgot to put it on while you were in your house at least you'd be like oh my god i have extra perfume in my hygiene kit my main tips and the ending of this video is to be yourself, be comfortable, look good, have great hygiene, okay? Take it slow and steady with this guy, even though you like him and you want him to like you. You have to get to know these men first before we show interest and emotion and care, okay? <laughs> Alright, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you like these tips, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Au revoir.